What's happening, sports fans? Welcome back to another episode of Mama and Papa Joe. Today it's something a little different. We're not cooking, but I'm so thrilled that I'm able to introduce you guys to the newest member of the arsenal. We're looking at a cannon fabricated pit. Some of you out there on our live stream especially have been hearing about this pit for the last six months. Well, I took delivery of it uh, two weeks ago. And the funniest part about that delivery is once it got here, I realized it would not fit into my backyard through the shorter side of the yard. Too uh, The gate's too small, the pit's too large. So I've got somebody coming. They're going to open and create a gate on the larger side of my front yard. And we're going to get this thing in the back. In the meantime, I want to give you guys just a quick walkthrough of this awesome piece of equipment, man. Beautiful piece of equipment. As you can see right now, man, she is built to last. This thing is sturdy. So first thing we're gonna do is a, a quick walk around. Take a look at these golf cart wheels, man. I, I don't think I plan on doing much off-roading, but they're ready to go. And you'll notice that there are tie downs uh, in all four corners for transport. She's got a collapsible stack. This stack is six inches. This stack collapses and lays down for, for, uh, for transport. Uh, we're gonna knock that out real quick. Awesome. The handle uh, attaches magnetically uh, to not become a tripping hazard. And this thing uh, on, uh, on level ground is so easy to move, uh, regardless of how heavy it is. So this thick six inch stack is locked down with a cotter pin. We remove the cotter pin. And all we do is just lift up and locks in the place for your cook with another cotter pin. Boom, good to go. A little butterfly valve. We'll figure out how that works once we get her burning. And folks, everywhere there are hinges. Everywhere there are hinges, you've got a grease point. I've never seen anything like that. To include the handle. Pretty cool. So there are two tie downs. As we walk around, right here is that awesome uh, insulated firebox. And uh, it works through sliding vents, man. Uh, lovely. And uh, I'm so anxious to see how well they work how wide I'm going to have to uh, open to maintain temperature. Cool touch handles. As we open, uh, we can immediately see, man, we can feel, we can hear that insulation. We've got an ass pan that sits below the fire basket. I've never cooked on one of these V-shaped fire baskets before. But the idea here is that once you build your fire and uh, as your logs burn, everything falls down gravity uh, wise and is fed and maintained on the bottom of your fire basket. Your fire basket sits in a cutout with the ash pan below. So it's going to be very interesting to see uh, how, uh, how I like it. If not, I will easily switch out to my uh, usual uh, flat roll steel fire basket. But once again, man, this is uh, this is a uh, quarter inch, uh, well, heavy, built to last. This is not going to burn through anytime soon. Slides in and fits in place. So four inch insulation once again. Uh, door is 3 inch thick, man. Uh, so well put together. Let's move to the front. This is where the action happens. Beautiful pull out grates. And what I like about these grates, you're able to pull far enough out without your meat dripping onto your deck or your floor and whatever the case might, you might be using. And I opted, I always opt for uh, rolled steel grates as opposed to expanded metal. So much easier to clean, man. Uh, you can see they're pretty large. Pretty large. You're looking at 24 inches by 24 inches on that bottom. And the 
top one is maybe 18 by 24. So pretty sweet. Uh, and once again, I love how far they pull out. Uh, these are going to be so easy to clean. I haven't done anything yet in terms of oiling or, uh, or seasoning. Uh, I'm going to wait till we get her in the backyard. But I'm going to be able to put quite a bit of meat on these two grates now. Beautiful. Awesome tail through uh, thermometers. These are some of the best thermometers on the market. Uh, as long as they're calibrated, don't expect any problems from them. Door isn't too heavy, and if you're uh, if you're a little weaker in the arm, uh, what's great about these doors is that the handle rotates as you lift to make for an easier lift. Now the wrist action really helps, and they lock in place. And once again, there are our uh, grease points. I have always done, folks, I've, it's become a habit, it works for me. I will see how this one burns. But at some point, I put a little silicone bead around here just to seal all my doors. I did that on the Jambo, did it on the Gator. Uh, we'll see how this burns. If there are any leaks, if that's the case, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, drain, we've got, I don't know if you're able to see down here, We've got a one inch uh, ball valve uh, for drainage. And uh, on different pits, I've have had them in different locations. This one's close to the firebox as opposed to uh, the stack. Uh, doesn't make a difference. That insulation, man, you're not, you're not concerned about anything catching fire or anything of the sort. So uh, that is pretty much it for a walk around, folks. Uh, like I said, once again, so excited about uh, cooking on this pit. Uh, I will let you know when the next set of videos are going to start coming out. Uh, just give me some time to get it from uh, the front yard to the backyard, and we're gonna put this thing uh, through the motions. Once again, thank you guys for hanging out with Mom and Papa Joe's, man. We always appreciate you guys watching. Be on the lookout for another video soon. Uh, in the meantime, Mom and I want you guys to take care of yourselves, look out for each other, and we'll see you when we see you. Holla.